Sub so guys, uh, this video we are going to discuss about this this alternating series, right? So notice that so this one is a positive quantity and the other one is is negative minus another positive quantity, right? Right. So and and third one is a positive one. And the fourth one is is alternate, alternate. So negative one, right? So this is called alternating series, right? So let's try uh, to understand alternating series, right? Let's so write in this way: a sub one. This is your first term of your alternative alternative series minus a sub two plus a sub three minus a sub four dot 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 is the general term negative one to the power n a sub n and this is the very next term negative 1 to the power n plus 1 a sub n plus 1 and goes like this goes on right so here these quantities these are positive quantities but your sign is alternating this sign changes to positive the positive changes to negative negative changes to positive right but these these are positive quantities here yeah? these are positive quantities the only thing, the sign changes, negative changes to positive, positive changes to negative, negative changes to positive. So if you want to check whether this alternating uh, series convergent is convergent or divergent, so you have to check this sequence here you have a sequence here look at the sequence a sub n is a, is the sequence of this alternate alternating series right so what are the condition to con to con uh, condition condition for this uh, alternating series to converge right let's discuss that uh -huh. this a n first one this these a this 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 sequence should be monotonically decreasing that means a sub n less than or equal to a sub n plus 1 for all n or eventually decreasing anything right so it, this sequence should be decreasing and the other one and the other one if you take the limit of that sequence if you consider the limit of that sequence, the limit should be should be zero as n tends to infinity. Right? So all you need to do so so if you want to check this alternating series convergent to divergent you have to check these two conditions whether this sequence is decreasing and this sequence
number should be decreasing, decreasing to zero, right? All right, let's let's check that one. Uh huh. So this is the first term, and second term both are the same, but the third term, uh huh. Here this is a sub n. A sub one, A sub two, A sub three, A sub four, like that. Sub five. So I I ignore these signs, right? I just consider this quantity, right? Positive quantity. Uh huh. First to look at this. A sub one is one over square root of one. This one, which is same with A sub two. Mm hmm. Equals, but this one, ah, uh, this one is bigger than this number, ah, uh, right, and this one is same with this, less than uh, less than or equal to this, like that. Ah, uh -huh, that means generally, ah, uh, sequence. Is decreasing monotonically decreasing the sequence monotonically decreasing right and what about the limit of that sequence the limit also the limit the limit of this sequence goes to zero as n tends to infinity. Right. Therefore, therefore, this alternating uh, series is convergent. Right. I hope you understood this uh, example. Let's discuss another example. Right. 